In today's video, you'll discover my stock portfolio performance for the month of October 2023. So I've spent the last couple of weeks and months trying to build the perfect portfolio and here are my results. The first thing that you can notice is that I currently have quite a lot of liquidity that is actually invest in the cash ETF, which is basically an ETF investing in multiple kinds of high interest savings account in different of the Canadian banks. And since I want to have an ETF that can be sold at any time to make this purchase, but at the same time to be able to enjoy those high interest rates, I've decided to invest in my opinion in the best ETFs of its kind in Canada. After when it comes to the technology sector, you can see that I have multiple great companies in it such as Apple, Google, Amazon, Tesla and more recently I decided to also add the Shopify stock into this list. You can also see that over the last couple of months I've been doing a lot of great gains from the company Meta where I've made close to 90% of return. I won. But on their sides, you can see that both Neo and Rumble have been doing pretty bad over that same period. No, God, please, no! In terms of the energy companies, you know that over the last couple of months, they have been pretty much underperforming massively the market, where even if they are giving some great dividends, where Enbridge is giving close to 8% of dividend at the moment, well, they are still massively down, especially Algonquin that is down of more than 50% of its value. And at the moment, with my few Algonquin shares, I am really thinking about selling all of those because they are not really able to greatly perform over the last couple of months and years. And even if they are giving a great dividend, I think that there are better options at the moment in which to invest. After, for the financial sector, you can see that many Canadian banks haven't been doing well, where you can see that the Nova Scotia Bank is down of more than 17%. But fortunately, you can see that Manulife, which is an insurance company has been doing quite well over that period where it has gained close to 10% of return. And in terms of the telecommunication sector, you can see that both Bell and Telus have been doing pretty bad over that period as well. But Kushtar has been doing fantastic with some gain of close to 34%. And in terms of my materials company, which is Savaria, you can see that it has been doing quite well with some return of about 8%, as well as my Raukan company in the real estate sector that has been doing close to 10 percent of return and finally my super super small stake in five and plus has been doing fantastic with some return of close to 100 percent now let's see what has been my stock portfolio performance over the last 11 months and it has been of about 6.12 percent or about five thousand and eight hundred dollars of profits where my portfolio currently worth slightly over one hundred thousand dollars but keep in mind that this is only for my stock portfolio but in the next couple of monthly updates i'll be also adding my different ETFs that I have in it. In terms of the sectoral distribution, you can see that the tech sector is my largest sector by far with close to 42% of my total assets. After you have the financial sector that is giving some great dividends and that is currently sitting on close to 26% of my total assets. In third position, you can find the real estate sector followed by the energy that currently worth close to 9% of my total assets. And after you find the communication, the consummation, as well as the material sector as usual. And in terms of stocks that I've bought throughout the month of September, you can see that I've made three big acquisitions, where first on the 1st of September, I've bought a few shares of Apple as well as a few shares of Amazon. And at the end of the month, I've decided to start a position in Shopify. But now that you've discovered what are the different companies that I have in my portfolio, you might want to find what are the best stocks that you can invest in right now in October 2023. And to find the answer to this question, check out the video that's going to be right over here and I will see you soon. Peace.